is April 22nd, 2024, um, select board meeting in the town of Rochester. And first want to confirm that we posted the agenda in three places and on the website <clears throat> and emailed to interested parties so we can move forward and going to start with the prior meeting minutes of April 8th. And I was not here, so I'll leave those minutes to you guys to I have read the minutes, and I feel as though they captured the meeting. I second that. All in favor? All right. Aye. Okay. All righty. Got those guys. And next on the agenda, we have um, we've been picking away at the appointments for the reorganization after the town meeting. Um, I see that one of the highlights was who's going to be the um, the um, chair of the select board. I've had it. I thought you guys would nominate me since I wasn't going to be I here. Know, I know. But I would nominate you. No, no I nominate June. Yeah. I, I second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. That's me. All right. Thank you. You're that, welcome. That, um, we so get, then now we pick back at you as a road commissioner. If I oh, would nominate Jesus. Frank for the road commissioner. I second that. Oh, All no. in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Thank you. Payback, sir. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so the first page was easy. The other page has got more going on. Um, oh, so, so for the planning board and board of adjustment, um, was that, do we have to appoint not everyone on that? It's just, it's just some people have different different terms, right? I think it's just the ones with the 24. 24, on, right? so we got Sandy Haas and Julie Martin. And they both seem really happy in that position. I would nominate both of them. I second that. Continue on. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you, Julie and Sandy. <laughs> yeah. Excuse me, that was the planning board? I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, planning board and board of adjustment. Yeah. And the um, zoning administrator, um, I had been doing that, and Pat, you had, been, you had expressed interest in, in taking that over, and seeing as there was a... Um, You've got a, um, a planning issue in the works here. We were going to table this and, and, and not complicate matters by appointing you to um, rule so on your own project. Nominate Dune to continue in that role? Well, or we could table it I, until I would we table it. Yeah, let's table let's that. Table yeah. it if, yeah. if, I, know I will, I will continue to act until that because. Yes. Yeah, all right. Should only be a month or two. Yeah. yeah. Um, and the um, health officer We've had John White in there, and I have not heard from him that he wanted to change from that. So no, uh, I, I think not either. pending um, any complaints from him, I would I would nominate John White. I second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Yeah. And seeing as Larry Pleasant just called from the Middlebury <laughs> Gap saying he's on the way with the local emergency plan, I would think that's an indication that he will continue being the emergency management director. So I'd appoint, nominate Larry for that. I second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Yep. And the alternative for the emergency management would be Michaela Richardson, and I think she's willing to continue with that. Yes. Yep. I second that. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. And then... Um, I think Larry is willing to be the regional emergency management um, coordinator. Okay. I second that. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. And um, you would be his second, Terry? Still willing to? Yeah. yeah. Thank you. I second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Yeah. And um, we had Vic was our WERBA representative, <coughs> but I didn't he, um, he? He voiced con that he wanted to step aside. He wanted to step so, aside from that. So we'll have to search that one out. Yeah. Uh, hmm? yeah. yeah, Kristen, would you like to do that? I nominate Kristen. Cool. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you, Kristen. Thank you. Okay. I'm sorry, I didn't hear what Kristen was. Um, she is the um, uh, WERVA representative. Okay, thank you very much. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. And the alternate is um, um, Jim Bowen. And um, is he, um, 
Still willing. I did. She wanted to do it if it was available. But who was that? Um, Caitlin Bowen. Caitlin Bowen. And I nominate Caitlin Bowen. Yeah, I second that. Yeah, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. okay. Welcome aboard. I have to change one word. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, so that one's done. Um, in terms of uh, the law enforcement, we've um, still contracting with the um, Windsor County Sheriff Department. That's a contract. We don't have to appoint that. Yep. In terms of the constable, I believe Dylan um, Dudley would be um, willing to continue on that. Have you heard we'll anything that. different? You second that? No. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 And the second constable, Dave, you yeah. still willing to be that? Yeah. All right. Somebody else wants it? Yes. No. no. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Thank you, Dave. Thank you. All right. Um, the um, Two Rivers out of Quichi Regional Planning, Transportation, and Planning Representative, um, Pat, I nominate you to continue <laughs> with that. <laughs> Yes. I'll second that. All in favor? <laughs> All right. Thank All right. you, Pat. Mm -hmm. and, <clears throat> and the Two Rivers out of Quichi Regional Commission Transportation Advisory Committee. I've been on that and that hasn't asked a whole lot of me, so I'll, I guess I'll continue. I'll second that. that for Dune. Okay. All, All in favor? favor? All right. Aye. Okay. And <clears throat> the um, Two Rivers Energy representative, we had Jeff Gephardt. Is he in the, in the wings there? No, no, he is not. No. So I nominate Jeff. I second it. All in favor? Aye. All right. Yeah. And um, the energy representative alternative, alternate is you. Yeah, I'll yeah. stick with it. Okay. okay. All right. I second that. All in favor? Aye. All right. All right. Thank you, Frank. You yep. got that done. Um, the White River Ambulance, no, White River Alliance Royalton Advisory. Um, we had Troy Lapel. Yep. He say. says he's good to keep Still doing do that? So I, I second that. All in favor? Aye. All right. Okay. Cycling is done. Um, that's done. The Rec Committee. We had um, Norm Christensen, Kerry McDonald, Martha Slater, Dean Mandel, Joe Shankman, and Walt Kruchma. Um, Focusing on tennis. Anybody else Any that changes? wants to be involved in that? I would suggest you just put Norm in there. Just put Norm instead of Walt. Norm Walk? instead of somebody. Walt can't do it. Yeah, Walt can't do it. Okay. Yeah. Sure. All right. Others can be added to it. Yeah, others can with be added. Norm. Just put Norm in for now. While I think. Um, Should he be on the tennis? Or just pickleball. <laughs> yeah, not tennis just anymore. Just, just, put name, just put his name there, and then we'll find out who he wants to do. Right. All right. Okay. Okay. So we're going to nominate. Norm. Should we just leave it vacant for now? Putting that, his name there. Yeah, yeah. Not put anybody's name there. He'll tell us who's going to be. In, okay. So yeah. So I we'll just partially it. committee. Just Norm Christensen. Right. A second. All in favor? Aye. All right. All right. Okay. Um, And um, Tri Valley Transit, we had Tim Crowley. I haven't heard from him. I don't think lately. we want to, with his health issues, it's yeah, probably a good idea. Probably not one, so we might need to find somebody to go to that. Table it. Table, table that one. Yep. Okay, need that. Um, and then E911 maintenance is Angus, our local map maker. Guy, I think you'd be willing to continue on. That, that I point. second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. and, um, budget and Finance Committee, which we do that. Um, the select board members are automatically part of that. We've had um, Lois, she in here. You still want to do it? All right. And um, Nancy? And I believe Barb would still want to do that. Greg White is so handy with his um, Spreadsheets. skills. So we definitely want Greg. And Robert um, Mayer, does he want to still be on there, do you think? He's shown. Why don't we, um, why don't we um, put
put in Lois, Greg, the select board members, Barb and Nancy, and then if Robert is interested, he could contact us and ask to be put onto it. Because he wasn't, um, he showed up at a couple meetings, but not a lot. Yeah. So. Okay. So. A second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Got it. Should we, uh, not that I care, but should we increase the amount of number of people involved in that, do you think? Do you want to keep it? Keep it small as a group. Well, it's an open meeting, so anyone yeah, can come in if they have energy to contribute, they're welcome to yeah, do that. Right. That's true. We can get to that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm just trying to broaden the scope a little bit mm -hmm. for everyone. Well, we so, might be able to, but we should talk to people first. Yeah, I agree. But I, th I think it's necessary to do that so people have an idea of what the finances are of the community rather than... Talk, I think we should talk about it. And right. Uh, rather than just keep it limited. Yep. So. All right. <clears throat> the web website administrator has been Norm Christensen, and I'd, I'd nominate him. I second. All in favor? Aye. All right. And then we have the Capital Planning Committee. This is a new one, and I think that's also, we have some um, assistance coming from Two Rivers to help um, set up our capital plan. So the committee on that, and we have Greg White, Nancy Woolley, Julie Smith, the select board members, um, Barb DeHart, Lois Bond, and Kristen Lapel. I think we should keep them all on there. Yeah, okay, we'll a yeah. second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Excuse me. What? Was, excuse me. What was the name of that committee again? That's I didn't the, get it. Uh, Capital Planning Committee. It's basically a subset of the Budget and Finance Committee. Thank you very much. Yep. Yep. Um, the EC Fiber representative that um, has been John White. Do we still have? Didn't he, when we were doing the town report, didn't he say he wasn't really doing it anymore? EC Fiber. Um, Do we even need it? I, I wonder I, if we I, still I don't know need that need anymore because, because that was more when they were rolling EC Fiber right. out and it was to help the conditions of the town. That was with so. the build out, right? Why don't we, um, we could reach out to EC Fiber and see if that is an outdated position. I could do that. Yeah. Okay. Muma. And um, Green Update Coordinator had um, Nick Cuto. Uh, mm -hmm. That's his name. Yeah. You know her. Yeah. It's been. He's not around that much. No, he's. Um, but, he's still, he's but he does. Be there this year. Yeah, he yeah. does show I think up. He enjoys been, it. Yeah. yeah. He was kind of excited to learn that he had a little bit of a budget this year and wanted to buy uh, treats for some. Buy okay. treats. Okay. Yes. So who's then looking forward to it? By all means, um, I'd nominate Nick. I second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. And for um, librarian, um, that's um, I think that's more under the um, mm -hmm. under auspice of the library. That's not um, the only um, the next one that we have to appoint is our videography of meetings, which we've been using Orca Media, and um, been very happy with their service. So I'd move to continue with that. I second that. All in favor? Aye. All right. Aye. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Um, sorry, um, next on the agenda we have um, is Brian Kabalik on the Zoom. Oh, you're no, right there. Your yeah. room. He's here. <laughs> Zoom. Yeah. He's in person. Um, these uh, municipal municipal technical assistance program from Two Rivers, and he is here to um, kick off our capital budget project. Yeah. So. Is there a place that you want me to sit so it can be on camera and on the owl? Um, it will turn to you. Yeah, it'll, 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 yeah. Spots. And he, he's good at zooming around to whoever he needs. Okay. Oh, is this you don't have to be your ass on. Kind of, yeah. Yeah, kind yeah. of yeah. is. You, you can move yourself over here. that way if you want. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sure. The sun doesn't shine on this end. <laughs> <laughs> Not very often, anyway. <laughs> So, hi everyone. Uh, so I, I don't think I've really ever met anyone in this room before. My name is Brian Kabalik. I'm a new planner. I just started in December at the Two Rivers Atacuichi Regional Commission. Uh, and so I am going to be your uh, contact with Two Rivers working on a new capital 
uh, budget and program for Rochester. So as uh, was mentioned, uh, this, this is a contract uh, that's available through the Municipal Technical Assistance Program. Uh, so there's not really going to be a cost to the town other than people's time and, and effort, uh, but not a financial burden. And um, so here to sort of kick off the, the project, it was approved for the last select board meeting. So uh, to give you a little uh, background, um, if, if you were here uh, or involved in the last capital budget, raise your hand just so I'm aware what kind of audience I have here. So some familiarity. So uh, in brief, like a capital budget is just a list of all of the capital projects that a town will seek to take on within the next five years or 10 years, as Two Rivers likes to make them out for 10 years. It'll be prioritized based on uh, need, and then it'll also uh, look into estimated cost for each project, providing a little description of it and justification for the need for it, and as well as uh, any proposed method of financing, uh, which proposed methods of financing usually are appropriations from the general fund or the highway fund, uh, from reserve funds, or from bonds, uh, bonds um, as you say, and grants. grants um, those are really the, the main ways of financing this. And so I have looked at the old one, actually used it as a model. Uh, for the first project I worked on here was a capital budget for Stockbridge. Mm -hmm. So I used the Rochester one from 2014 and 2015 as a, as a model for that Stockbridge capital budget. Uh, so I'm happy to uh, be working on this one because it's going to be an update of, of one that I've already become a little bit familiar with. Uh, and so right now my, my plan going uh, forward is to start reaching out to uh, different people. And I just learned now that there's a committee set up to, to assist with this. Mm -hmm. So I'll get in touch with them afterward. And um, just start getting a list of prospective capital projects. Um, capital projects have a statutory definition, which is just anything, uh, any sort of machinery or apparatus when it's first implemented or acquired, or um, any studies or surveys that go into a capital project or any land or interest in land uh, that's tied up with a capital project. So if, say, you were going to move a town garage, you needed to buy a parcel, that parcel would be a capital project, and the construction of a new garage would be a uh, capital project as well. So we'll be looking into, um, into these uh, sort of different kinds of capital projects. Um, really, anything that the town is funding, which you know, could result in capital projects, like any repairs to town office buildings or town facilities, recreation facilities, uh, cemeteries, want to look into that. I know last time there was also a cruiser fund in the capital budget. I'm not, not sure anymore. what the status no. of that is. Yeah. Go on. That's good. Yeah. Okay. Sold it. Sold it. Yeah. <laughs> well. Pay for something else. <laughs> yeah. yep. So right now in, in my mind I was going to reach out to uh, the cemetery commission, emergency manager, fire chief. Um, it sounds like the police service is provided by the sheriff now. Yeah. Yes. You know, That's good. So not that. Uh, water and sewer as well. He's here too. Excellent. Mm -hmm. uh, the road foreman. So. Uh, the road foreman is not here, but yeah. The commissioner is. <laughs> the road commissioner. Yeah, freshly appointed. <laughs> yeah. Freshly appointed. <laughs> yep. Get my view wet. Uh, and if you guys have any other suggestions for uh, folks that I should reach out to, I'd be, I'd be happy to uh, do that. I think there's a housing group involved in town now. Is that correct, Deb? So you may want to reach out to them. What housing is an issue in the state as it is. So I'm sure that's probably something we ought to look at capital investment, and in that could possibly be something the town might be interested in down the road. Uh, there's a plan I reach out to the library as well. Um, would it make sense to reach out to the school? Um, we are combined with Stockbridge. Mm -hmm. So it, elementary it facility only. We have so. elementary, and we are um, uh, we do have a high school building mm -hmm. located in this town. You've heard. <laughs> yeah. <first laughs> so I don't know if that goes under capital or not. It, it's it's still in progress. So okay. <clears throat> Probably not ready for discussion this year. Gotcha. Okay. But in terms of the school budget per se, I think that's their, it's a separate um, department. We don't yeah, this is like a town plan, not necessarily associated with the school, so. Yeah, yeah. if it's a separate funding stream, then. Yeah. 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 So it seems mm -hmm. to me the, um, the last time we, and 
endeavor to create a capital plan. It was focused mostly on heavy equipment purchases mm -hmm. with vehicles. And fire department. Yeah. Highway vehicles. And highway vehicles, projects. Yeah, and didn't really get much into structures. Structures. Did we, Nancy, do you, what do you remember from that? You mentioned library. Would that, that would, would we consider that the town, on, under town buildings? Yes. It would be under town building. It was listed as a town on building under town plan. Yeah. Because yeah. we are responsible for the building, even though it's owned by the trustees. Mm -hmm. I want to focus on our infrastructure, our, our water and sewer sources. Um, because you're going five years and ten years out, uh, that's definitely has to be on the list. Yep. That definitely needs the to town be. structures, I think, are important too. We, Mm -hmm. Library. This this building here. It's a town garage. is probably an issue that we have to address at some point. Um, being where it's located, it's not really conducive to salt storage or anything mm -hmm. inside the river and the septic system and everything else. These are things that have been put on the back burner while we're buying trucks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, keeping the fleet updated and <laughs> keeping the roads open. Yeah, you know, I mean, it's, the 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 highway budget is a little over fifty percent of our budget anyway. So we got approximately sixty miles of road. So it's a lot to maintain. It's a lot for a small community like this to maintain. So. <coughs> We have to pick and choose what we can do. Sure. So you're going to help us to um, um, orchestrate um, priorities that we would want to um, create a budget, isn't it? And I believe this has also um, become a requirement for some certain funding sources that we have a capital plan in place. Is that true? Uh, it could be. For depending on what programs you're looking at. Um, it's a requirement to levy impact fees to have a capital budget. Mm -hmm. So for new subdivisions, you're going to do that. Capital budget is required in the state statute. Um, I'm not sure if there's any actual funding programs that require it. Well, that leads to my next question, as well as helping us organize um, ourselves about what we need to spend money on. Are you um, also able to like point out some places where we can find money? Some grant programs? Yeah. Yeah, he's yeah, two rivers. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I can, I can look into that. Yeah, that would be a good, good thing to um, mention. Well, that's part of the, the capital budget yeah. process yeah. anyway, is looking yeah. at funding sources. So yeah. that'll yeah. help us steer us in the right direction for that, yeah. I think, going forward. Because there certainly is a lot of need. And we have to separate what we can yeah. afford to do and what needs to be done. I think that's a priority that, just like our road system that we've been doing since Irene has been doing the ones that needed the most attention mm -hmm. first and windled it down yeah. to like now we're doing Rogers Brook, which was, yeah. how many years ago was that detected? Not a that's priority moved. a few years ago. Right, exactly, but it's moved up the list, so yeah. we tackled that, so now we, so we'll continue on with making those lists and going that way. Yeah, we'll definitely look into grants, grant programs, grant requirements. Mm -hmm. we'll definitely look into that for any prospective items. Yep. And you will be revisiting this on our behalf along with us yep. annually? Uh, oh, annually. So I was going to say until it's created, <laughs> definitely. Um, I don't know that we'll be able to support it annually, but I can train someone to maintain the, the capital budget. Would you forward. recommend that it's updated annually, every five years? Where, where do we stand on the updating part? I would say, I mean, a capital budget is a, is a sort of a community vision for what's going to be built and what's going to happen in a community. Mm -hmm. um, and of course, life happens, and it can get out of date quickly mm -hmm. if it's not being kept up. So I would say, uh, maybe even less than, I mean, every couple of months, quarterly maybe, updating okay. it. Mm -hmm. That would be my recommendation, or annually. I would think annually would be the way to go after yeah, a year of, of uh, we go through a budget cycle and then see where we stand on what we're doing, I think, is the way the process should work. Yeah, it'd be part of our, our yearly budget right. process. 
and, and with a appointed a committee mm -hmm. to oversee that part of it, can offer suggestions to the budget and finance committee on how we should pretty address much things. One the same. Yeah, it pretty much is. I realize, but <laughs> you know, we have to. Yeah. I would do think that would be the way the process would work. Putting this in our town report for everyone to see. Yeah, yeah. probably. Yeah. If there's value in doing that, absolutely. Another page in the report. <laughs> A page. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, or half a page. Yeah. <laughs> because we're, we're running, running out, out of space. Of yeah. <laughs> so this is kind of a kickoff for this. Where is the next? Um, yeah, what's the next step? step? Uh, next step would be uh, well. Now that I know there's a, a capital planning committee, to reach out to them mm -hmm. and uh, set up a meeting there, uh, and then to start reaching out to people I've mentioned and meet with them, go over the plan a little bit, mm -hmm. um, and and. Uh, and then start populating the yep. uh, draft. There's nothing in it right now, but I do have a Excel spreadsheet to start populating with mm -hmm. respective mm -hmm. uh, projects. And then uh, bringing that back to the select board to discuss yep. the projects. Okay. You're hired. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> you can reach out to the town office for any contact information that you need or anything. Yeah, I might need some contact yep. information. Yep, we got you. Yes. Well, welcome aboard. Welcome yeah. to Rochester. Thank Appreciate you. it. Thank you. Much needed. Thank that's you. for sure. Easy on you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thank yeah. you. Any questions um, out there? No. Um, no. no. Okay. All right. Thank you, everyone. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it, Brian. Well, when do you propose starting this? There's no benefit in waiting, so <laughs> start emailing people this week. All you have to yeah. do is yep. get our yep. emails. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Yep. Yep. Be, be great. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, next on, we have a first class liquor license application for Maple Soul. And I've moved to approve that. I second. All in favor? All right. Aye. Aye. Okay. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and the. Um, Larry is still driving, um, hopefully on the road, so we'll put the, off that for now. And um, we have the March Treasurer's Report. Thank you, Kristen, for putting that together. Yes, between Julie and I, we do it. Yep, we do it. And well, I guys had any scanned it over, but yeah. I really haven't checked it out, but it seems like it's there. There. We're looking forward to our next tax payment. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the next tax payment, <laughs> which is coming up soon. So I move to approve this. I second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Money's tight right now. Mm. Okay. Um, the um, letter letter of intent to participate in the. Um, Fiscal year 25 municipal roads grant and aid program, um, which we definitely want to participate in. Yes, so please. I, um, we do this every year. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I move to sign this letter. I second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Yeah. Thank you. So have a contract with North Star Rubbish Remo Removal LLC um, for the Fast Trash Program that um, happens here in the um, parking lot every Saturday. That came in with the same figure when we were doing budget. Yep. 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 It's the same. So what we expected, I'd move to. Um, to I second. That. All in favor? Aye. 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 Oh, that was fast. Okay, Larry. Yes. 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 Hi. Hi. Oh, yeah. Hi. Hi. <laughs> yeah, we only had to skip over a couple things to Yeah. Blame you for it. I'll blame you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to catch your breath first, or do you no, want to okay. dive right into it? Okay. All right, thank you. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Okay. I'm Happy to present the updated LEMP, Local Area Emergency Management Plan. Mm -hmm. 
the um, the form that I filled out and the form that printed out are not the same. I had uh, Sydney from uh, <coughs> out of, uh, Two Rivers, Two out Rivers. of Quichi, yep. help me, and she said, yeah, it prints out this way. But it, for the purposes of approval, um, this will work. Uh, mm -hmm. This is the shortened version. Thank you. So this is, um, just so you guys um, know, the uh, emergency management plans are, um, aside from being helpful to have in an emergency, they're also a requirement for um, other grants and, and financial support that's out there. So um, it's important to get this um, executed. Thank you for uh, taking welcome. that on. And this is the uh, approval form. Should you all decide to approve it? Okay. Should we make a change if we see one? Uh, you can. It can be updated, and then it comes back to you for uh, further approval. Okay. And uh, it's fine. I'll go through it. It's yeah. fine. You pulled it off. I know you did. It's a lot. It's a lot of work. It is really. a very, yeah, that's a lot. Yeah. It, it, it is a lot. Are you going to submit it, or do you want me to submit it to well, um, Sydney? The, to uh, well, well, there's a form to fill out. Yep. I, I started it. And, uh, okay. So. Hey, this is Robert Franks. Mm -hmm. I have a question. Hey, yeah. Um, regarding the two rivers out of Quichi. Is the representative still there? Um, he is. Is this about the emergency management plan? No, it's not. It's nope. about where so, so. two rivers out of Quichi gets their funding. Okay, well, let's wait till um, we move on from this because right now we're we're focusing on the topic at hand here. So we'll, um, when we get oh, into, can move on. we're going to, we, we, when we come into public comments, we can, um, we can answer your questions or try to. Yeah. Well, okay. All right. Cause okay. um, yeah, thank you. I'll just keep yeah. Page. yeah. Thank you. You got my number, right? <laughs> oh, you're right there. That's the main thing. Yeah. A couple of times. Yeah. I think we even spelled your name right. Um. Yep. So, um, it's all, um, like you said, if we do um, find some, have some edits oh, or. I can always, if yeah, you approve it, I can it. always update it at any point. Yeah. The right yeah. online. That's why I, um, I did yeah. it online this time. Yeah. <clears throat> So, um, Pat, if you want to um, email me with any... Uh, yeah, you have, uh, and if it's fine, you have my phone number for the hardware store. Ah. So maybe you want to put the hardware store's phone number. Separate. But okay. you can ask either one of us. So you could you could call me or the hardware, but you might get... Okay. I want to re if I want to reach you, I want to reach you. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome to. Other than that, I think everything looks fine to me. Yeah, yeah. I, I move to adopt it. Don't have an issue with it. I okay. second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you, Larry. Thank, Thank you for that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do we um, need to keep our copies? Um, you can we keep should, your copy. Yeah. And uh, June, I handed you the approval form. There's yep. A, yep. a place for you to sign and a place for me to sign. Right. I have uh, completed the appropriate coursework okay. to be able to sign. Put a lot into it. <laughs> There's a lot to it. Yeah, there, there is. A lot more We've than, only begun. More a lot more than just nodding your, your head. Yes, there. I'll do it. Yeah. <laughs> right? That's the easy part. <laughs> yeah. That's the most important call. That is the easy part. Yes, I'll do it. And <laughs> okay. I'll need a, to get a copy of this on record just for um, town report and other things. Of course. So there there you go. Go. Absolutely. Thank you. Great work. <laughs> okay. So 
everything. Okay, um, would you... More signatures? Um, no, this is just the, the checklist, and mm. we've gone through it together. This sh everything that they want should be in there, and if they ask for anything else, I'll update it online, yeah. make a copy, and forward it okay. to you. Okay. Okay. Okay, so this uh, goes to Sydney. Would you like to... I, I mean, I can, sure. Sure. And then just give you a copy when it's finished. Sure. Absolutely. Okay. Thank you all. Sure. Yeah. All righty. Thank you. We've got the North Star. Um, so we have a driveway permit application from from Eric Wilson at 342 Access Road. Have you had a chance to? Has Cooter had a chance to look at that? Yeah, he has. He put his recommendation on the second page, and I've looked at it too. Yeah, it's the one that was approved. Long time ago. Okay. All right. So, um, let's just sign off on that. Yep. Look to uh, approve again. All in favor? Yep. I second that. Aye. Yeah. Aye. Aye. That's the one about halfway up the access road. Right on the mm -hmm. corner there. Mm -hmm. That's the, yeah. the low one there. The low right part right of by the those field. other driveways. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, and we had a, um, next on the agenda was the, um, the purchase and sale contract for the potential high school building with contingencies. I believe that is um, going to be tabled for uh, a couple reasons. One, I think the, um, the grant that they applied for, for some of the matching funds, was going to require some more specific language. Yeah, and they also, have their own version of a yeah. purchase sale contract. And then once the... Um, we would have that in hand. We'd really want to give it to our attorney Definitely. to look through. Yeah. So that's nothing that we're signing tonight. I would suggest mm -hmm. also uh, having them compare it to the original agreement that we right. looked at in the previous, when it was first, this whole thing first when came first about. Started, right. for, for the merger? Yeah. Yeah. So I think it has to coincide the, with that, I would think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's um, for our attorney to really study on so yeah. so, so I'm not signing that too. hello regarding can I hello can I um Vic Roboto's on here hello. I didn't know if you wanted to check with him and see if hello he, oh, okay hold on Robert just a second um, and he just unmuted so just wanted to check in with you Vic if you had any comments about oh hi that. uh thank you, person I don't really have anything to say I was just if there were any questions that I could answer Pat's exactly right we're not quite ready for prime time and once it is, we want to make sure it's available for the public to review before uh, you know, action is taken anyway. So yeah, yeah. down the road. Great. All right, Robert, now it's your turn. Well, no, I was just asking uh, what, what the contingencies are. What, what are they? Um, the main contingency. will they be? The significant contingency is that the town is going to vote whether or not to buy the building and if the town votes no then that contingency renders that contract null and void okay well i understand that yep. but that's, that's will the, it be that's reported the, in the uh, randolph herald so oh, the i'm public sure it, knows? i'm sure it will be and then that actually i was i was thinking that um i'd like to um um reinitiate the process of educating the public and I, I would recommend that we convene a, a, a informational meeting perhaps in a week on Monday night just to share the information that and, and start answering questions um, we, there is no date yet set for when the town would vote on this but um, I, what do you guys think about having a meeting in a week to um, share Captain. what is known get yeah. started on it, this. Uh, Vic and Catherine good with participating with that? Vic is, he's logged off. Okay. He's logged off, okay. Um, I would think we want to yeah. stretch it. We're out, out for a couple weeks before we do, so it's, it's more well advertised and also it'll give the participants a chance to form their questions rather than do it in a quick notice like a week yeah. from today i, I think a little a special more time. meeting on our next select board meeting we could do it then that sounds like it might be a better time but it might be take up more time than that 
So maybe, yeah, so maybe, I, was, I was thinking it should be its, it own, should be its, own, its meeting. own meeting probably. But I'm not sure a week is enough time to formulate yeah. your Well, questions. I'm not thinking this is the final no. informational meeting. I was just thinking no, this I'm is just get, get a start on it. I would think we'd, if we had one in a week, we'd probably have another one in a month or yeah. on mm -hmm. into We'd have to know. have more than one. But I, I think. think we need to start stirring the pot a little bit here mm -hmm. in terms of getting the information out. I'm not expecting that this meeting would answer every question. Hopefully it'll bring up more questions and... and Help to um, right. you know start the talk. Start yeah. the talk. Hey, excuse oh, can me. I make a comment, please? Um, sure, Robert. What's your comment? Uh, by the way, don't degrade my three-minute warning. But with regards to Frank's comments, this is—I've been watching and studying and being very concerned about the uh, spending of schools, school board meetings, the whole thing. And I am, I cannot believe that the Rochester Town, well, your commission or whatever it's called, is not addressing this properly tonight. So I don't know. Um, the Rochester, well, I, okay. No, our tax paying money is putting into the lack of decisions to be made to either demolish the building or put it forth to the town of Rochester to support it. Right. We just um, were talking about yet another informational meeting to to continue that conversation. Um, yeah, well, it's a, yeah. well, dude, yeah, so dude, the... the, the uh, situation with the Rochester school high school has been going on for eight years and yep. there's yep. We're, we're getting crushed yes. by property taxes so okay. you guys need so, to stand up pull your bootstraps up and say hey do we demolish it or do we uh, get more money from the federal government to fund the reconstruction Okay, that's um, we're in that's the process of doing that. That's what we're doing, Robert. So, um, thank you for your concern. Well, it's, uh, Mar Mar Martha it's had a question. June, the two point three Robert. million dollars has been earmarked from Bernie Sanders for the high school in Rochester. How is that it money going to be used? It's not going you know to be what? obtained until we what, get what, that, funds. That is, that money would come if the town votes to buy the building. So then these are the topics that we've just set um, a meeting to continue the conversation about. So that's that's the exact point that we're bringing up is, is these are the kind of questions that we want to focus on on I, I think that even it might be short notice, but a week is a week, and it, it's it's a start. Um, so, yeah. So, what would we say, like six o'clock next Monday? Yeah. That's what you guys want. Well, I think I think the town of Rochester should pay interest on the two point three million dollars before you people decide what to do with it. Um. Okay. No, we're not. We're not. Uh, by the way. Yeah, I want to. I, I want to share this with everything. Every person that's involved in this meeting, laughter from Frank Severy, Patty Harvey, and the rest. Of, this is not laughing matters. Well, Robert, stop and saying funny when, things. Um, we're gonna we're gonna move on. You've used your three minutes, and Martha had a question that she wanted to clarify for the paper. So um, thank you for um, your for your input. Well. Well, with regards to the Randolph Herald, I've been asking for a report regarding the closure of the Bethel Mountain Road from Tim Calabro. Haven't gotten a response. Yeah, and I don't um, think you people should laugh at these very serious things. Okay, thank going you, on. Robert. Thank you, um, Martha. 
Yeah, um, I just wondered, um, am I correct that you're thinking that, I, I, you probably haven't actually, the board hasn't voted on it, but you're, you're suggesting next Monday the 29th at 6 p.m. for a, a public meeting? That's what yes. we were, that's what we were suggesting. Right here. Okay, now office. would you be having it there in the town office? Yes. Okay, good, because if you would, could send me the Zoom link so that I could uh, attend. Yes. Yeah. I, I can't get this service, obviously. Yeah, it'll yeah. go on Thank our you. notification list like it does. Okay, and yeah. so, so one of you will send me a Zoom link. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Sorry to bother you. All right. I mean, it's, uh, I'm not going to answer all the questions then, but at least it's a, it's a start, and there's been enough people um, clamoring to know more. Mm -hmm. Nancy, you have a question? Are the people who know about these things, like Catherine and Vic, going to be available on the 29th? We're going to invite them. We're going to invite them. Well, you know, if, if they don't come, we'll gather questions that we can give them. I mean, this, like I said, this is not the final um, deciding meeting about this. This is just to to have conversation. So I, I would I would hope that they would be available. And um, but um, we've also had a lot of input that we want more than just their input on it. So we're gonna, I think you want me to um, reach out to them tomorrow to see and invite yeah. them. Yeah. I'd be happy yeah. to do that. No, we should uh, reach out to anyone that has expressed concern or interest or had input about this. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, put it in the paper, Martha. And we could send out a notification to email tomorrow, too, once yeah. we get confirmation. And your Friday message. Yeah, but do it tomorrow, mm -hmm. like early. Yeah. All right. Back to um, abbreviations. Uh, we have that. Local Hazard Mitigation Plan advance notice to proceed with requests um, for proposals to procure a consultant. So that's the next step. That's the next step. Mm -hmm. So, um, advance notice to proceed. Um, that's, that's in there, I think, isn't it? That folder? I think it's that folder. Oh, yeah, that looks official on a scout. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, we need to um, send out requests for proposals for see who wants to work on that. So it's not provided by uh, Two Rivers or any other. Well, they're they're, they're going to be um, one of the consultants if uh, we choose them. That they'll probably. Um, that is a process. Be sent to yeah. RFP. Yeah. Yeah, we have to um, put it out there for you know gather multiple proposals so let's um let's do that okay okay and um i don't see tony here from the library anything he's got there was to, one more thing one on more there. thing on the list there John. departmental reports uh, oh, the confirmation of our funds for where is that? Oh, I'm sorry, you didn't get that. Oh, it's not on mine, so you bring it up. Yeah. Uh, I don't know anything about what they want. It was in the folder. Yes, is it? I printed it before we. Okay. So, it's, um, so it's, is that about the jaws of life? Yes. 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 And the fire department has raised nine. Nine grand. Nine thousand mm -hmm. dollars towards the purchase of the new jaws of life, which we support, and so. Um, with what is left, we're proposing to take that from ARPA funds because it well, is... Well, not... Well, it depends. That would be nice. That would be nice. <laughs> what's the amount yeah. that you're looking what's for? Number? I mean, 28,000. 28,000 plus the nine? No, no. Minus, minus nine. nine. Minus nine? So 19 grand? Right. We'll have to see what... What, that won't be addressed right off, I don't think, because we got bids out for things. Well, the price is only good for a while. How? What's a while? It says 15, 15 days. days. Well, we won't know by 15 days, I don't think. Those bids aren't due back for that time period, so I won't know until then. They're due back in, in May, so May, May 10th, May, aren't they? May right, 14. but I don't know what the exact date is May yet. 10th. May 10th. May 10th, so... Yeah, it's about we'll 15 days. It's going to be about 15 be days, so we we'll won't know until then. They can't yeah. promise anything. 
at this point. We we talked about it once, and we it was talked six, about you're going to give us at least eight. Six thousand. Yeah. We talked about. It. I remember that number no, came no, up. No, eight. eight. I got paid we, for it down the fire. We can so. check whatever it was, then we'll go from there. But that will be it. But be nice to know so we can start. Not now. Yeah. We're going to send the letter out and see what we can mm -hmm. get. Uh, to do this. I mean, well, I think we could go with that, what we originally talked about. Definitely the to count on at least that. that. Is yeah. already. And, then, and then go from then there. see what happens after these bids come in. I can't go. say we could use 19 on it until I know what we're... So what's the, amount, what's the amount that you are approving? I'm sorry, the original amount. Eight? Eight thousand. Eight thousand. All right. Is there anything else that wasn't on my agenda that you guys got there? <laughs> sorry. Nope. Yes, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm laughing. Yeah. Um, no. Yeah, don't laugh anymore. No. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah
I mean, this this um, four-day yeah. shutdown well, could well, alleviate a, a, a multi-week or month blowout in, in a storm. Yeah. You know, exactly. I mean, Very this important. is this is preventative maintenance. It's well, critical work here. Well, so I think that well, you dude, would be you know, thankful. I'll just thank you for your right. uh, appreciation for me to be thankful for this covert change, which should take two days. Not five days. Okay. And I'm right. I'm requesting publicly the 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 questions that I put forth to Frank Severy and Julie, the town clerk, the answers. All right. You can you can research that and and, and find them. Yeah, find the answers to those questions. I mean, like um, I said, I don't know how far. Uh, oh, back oh, is oh, called. Yeah, you're, you're, so wait a second, Dylan. You're, you're, I, you're, saying, you're telling me uh, I have to research it? Yes, I'm telling you that you're not in the position of assigning homework to people on the select board the day before a select board meeting for basically um, silly, silly questions. I mean, it's obvious what's going on. So I really don't understand other than you like to, to speak at public meetings. And I understand that. So we've given you another three minutes, maybe more this time. So we're going to um, move on to see if anyone else has any, any comments they'd like to make tonight. So thank you. My three minutes were not expired. Yeah, they're, you they, took they, they my are. three minutes. Okay, thank you. We were upgrading that culvert to a yeah. three foot culvert. Yeah, it's a four. No, it's a four. It's a four, it's a four, it's a four foot culvert. Yeah, it has a big one. It's, a, yeah. it's bigger than that. So it takes, you have to shut the ropes okay. down. So, so yeah, everybody on Zoom looks to be all set. Okay, that's that's enough good. about the highway. Terry, what's going on in the, in the utilities world? I saw some people from the state looking down the, the sewer drains up by the skip mark today. What were they doing? State? Somebody was looking down in there with some. No, I don't think it didn't look like anyone man. I recognized. I think it was reason. a storm drain, so I don't know yeah, if there's a sonar. Yeah. Yeah, no, we can do our spring walk around tomorrow. We were tomorrow. Okay. cleaning manholes this afternoon. Yeah. The top so we can pull the covers easier. That's probably the petroleum people there that were so. checking for. No. Leaks, oh, leaks leaks right right they have they have to report every so often yep. what their tanks are doing and water yeah, levels and all that. So they're probably you definitely have to look down the one by the bank because that one's been welded. Sorry. <laughs> 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 the traffic was knocking it off. Yeah, it's it's held up. Yeah, it's pretty good. It hasn't bothered me. Not that no, no, does it? No. no. <laughs> it clunks. Well, it <laughs> not bad as bad as it is. Um, is. So Jeff's not on? No. No. Okay. How about any grant updates, Krista? Um, nope. I don't have any for right no. now. I should hear sometime soon about FEMA, hopefully, but not quite yet. I am signing the paperwork for uh, the Haynes property. Um, Oh, yeah, that bank stabilization, stabilization. project, which yeah. uh, we had formally signed it before, but then the feds came back and granted 100% financing for the project, so we had to redo the paperwork. So I was signing that today. Cool. Under the old business, we had the LHMP, which I think we already talked about mm -hmm. there. Yeah. Um, is there anything else anyone would like to speak about tonight? In you are, I'll go first. Yeah. One for all of you. And Kristen, I'd like to thank you for your assistance that I've had. And tonight I'd like you to read this, because I'm really not a public speaker. Okay. I've done my research, as some people here have told me I should do. I don't have enough for everybody, so I'll just kind of pass it on to this chair. Thank you. I'm still dealing with the dog. Yep. Last night, my family came back from the playground and was chased down the hill again, barking and growling at them. It's okay, I'll get taken care of, don't worry. 
but I want answers to these. I've done my research as you guys all told me to do. I would like serious answers. Cause I gotta wait three more times of somebody going up there and giving her a fine or a warning before anything can happen. I've got seven more full pages of documentation. And everything comes back to no training. Here and I'm um, not exactly sure how to summarize it, other than that you're you're frustrated with the lack of ability to control your neighbor's dogs and, and not me, not me, uh, of anyone's I'm lack of ability it. to control your neighbor's dogs, and we have. Um, and it's a complicated thing because of it's not a professional position that we have people volunteer holding the things in, and in, in, the, in the positions. So we've um, hooked you up with the, the sheriffs, which have hooked you up with the state police. They have been up there a few times, but that hasn't really, really settled anything, has it? No. I went up there once. You went up there once? Yeah, yeah. I didn't see the dog. I saw three skinny horses. That's all I saw. Yeah. When did you go up there? Oh, let me see. It was probably two weeks ago on a Monday. <clears throat> two weeks Monday, probably. And what time? Uh, what time? Oh, well, let's say about one-ish, two-ish? One between I one and two? Tuesday. Huh? Tuesday. Was it Tuesday? Okay. Tuesday. I sat in your yard for probably ten minutes. I didn't see the dog, and that, that, you know, I don't think it's out there all the time. Okay, and Tuesday would have been what day, what? April 9th, I believe. The 9th? Okay. If you saw dual wheel tracks, that would be me. Okay, so, yeah, you would have been there the day that the dog didn't come out. Yeah. Four, four seven is when I dealt with the deputy. Nothing, nothing happened. 4-11, the dog was off the leash again. 4-9, uh, you said. Maybe it was on there. 4-1, 4-2. Yeah, no, 4-9 I don't have on there. I didn't see any of your trucks or you were gone. Of course, it's during the day, so you would have been working anyway. Yeah. Well, again, thank you for going up there. Yeah, I'll, I'll go up again. Appreciate I'm not it. saying I won't, but I'm just... Yeah. So this this right here, I just I just want to bring this one up, and I got to turn my phone back on for it, just so you guys can all hear this. This was last night at eight o'clock. My family coming back from the playground. So it's going to be it's just a second when I turn it off for the meeting. But yes, it's it's getting it's pretty bad. I'm getting over it, very over it, and I hope somebody finally comes up there and does something with this dog. The other dog is not a problem. The other dog is fine. The black one is fine for the most part. Same owner? Huh? Yeah. yeah, same owner. Yeah. It's the brown and white dog. It's a herding dog. <clears throat> but once you hear this, you'll know. My 15-year-old daughter, who was bit in this town prior, is the one that recorded this, scared to death.
You will hear her mother tell her, just keep walking. So now my question is, just this one. Last time I came in here, you guys said that they had no training to do this, but you must have training now? I don't have enough training, no. But if the dog came at me, I was armed. That's all I can say. I did that on my own. shows that there were two visits to Lower Meadow Road in Rochester um, on March 28th and March 12th, but they were different addresses, so I'm not sure if they were both for this particular reason or not. Mm -hmm. Hear the growl at the end. I'm not kidding anymore about this dog. I am so over it with you. Not being able to do anything. There is a chain of command. A chain of command that should be followed. I'm ex-military. Chain of command in this room. Legislative, executive, and judicial. You have the authority to get things done in here. We pay for things to be done in here. Okay? We have budgets. There's no reports. Training. 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 You tell me they only have training to do traffic control. Traffic control is incorrect because training for traffic control during a hazard event, you have to have special training for that. I am an ex-OSHA person had to deal with that. Okay? There is all kinds of solvents and stuff that mixed together, create a gas or an explosive. <clears throat> Monotectorine. Anybody know what the distance you have to lock off when there's an explosion or a gas that comes from that? I think that our fire department knows that. It all depends on what it is. Farther, the if we don't know what it is, then we call mm. the state. Um, yeah. Right, you'd call the state hazmat. Hazmat. Yeah. Emergency response field guy 2020. It's 330 feet. How many houses are close enough for that? Right here. My point is, you keep telling me this and this and this. I guess we need to look into some training in this town, correct? We're big on training everywhere else in this town. Let's start looking about training so we can get things taken care of. Please, Kristen, if you would, read that. You want to read this whole thing? I would oh, like you it want read. You to read this out loud? That's yes, I would it. like it read out loud so everybody can hear it. Why do I have to read it out loud? Like you're just shitting on me today, or? No, no. <laughs> I can have any of them read it, but I would like Good you to. Good God, I'm, I'm not doing it. You're, you're not me quite a bit so far, do. so I would like you to. I thought that I did, but I'm not getting any credit for it lately. Somebody else can read it. I'm not going to be told what to do. 
everybody in the room has a copy. I, mean, I thought so. If somebody needs one, they're welcome to mine. So I don't, I don't see the need to read it out loud if everyone has a copy. We, I, I basically read this at every meeting I've been to now. I, it's all in my book, everything that I've done that you guys have told me to go and research. Yeah. Please. Is, the, is there something that the sheriff is not providing you with? The sheriff is doing what he's supposed to be doing. There's other families that have nothing they can do unless they know what I'm going through right now in this town. That is my point. So you just said the sheriffs are doing what they can do. Yes. That's the higher authority that we have deferred to in terms of dealing with Please these guys. Please read the paper. There's a command, yeah. a chain of command in that paper. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff in this paper. I see it. It goes on and on. Yeah. The, um... Yeah. I can take I my documentation to court if that's what we need to do. And I can do it without a lawyer. And I will come out on top of this. I would like you to explain to me. I want to be proactive, not reactive anymore. So are you waiting for one of us to go up there and shoot that dog? No. Well, um... I don't want the dog put down. The dog could go on to a farm and be perfectly fine on yeah. a farm. Yeah. I don't want anything anymore. I, the, the town needs something. Okay? Anybody gets bit in this town... Who do they go to? They have nobody to go to in this town. They have to wait three months to get anything taken care of. Right in there. What happens if there's rabies involved? That escalates things dramatically when someone's actually bit. 2011, yeah. my daughter was bit in this damn town. Yeah. You guys told me nothing, did nothing. We could not get any information on whether that dog had rabies or not. 24 hours is all you have. Please read that and tell me what it is that this, the town can do. The dog has to be put down for checking on rabies. <clears throat> Any animal does. Okay. We in, have both of their rabies certificates. In 2011, my child was bit. Nobody could tell us whether or not the dog then had a rabies shot until 72 hours or longer after. Now, in the town, there's ordinances. You must be able to control your dog or have it on a leash. If you can't control it and you don't have it on a leash, there is a fine. Chain of command starts out with the dog hornets coming up and giving you a ticket or a warning then please read on now why don't you read it Come on. just tell us I mean you've laid out you've got it all straightened out you can go ahead and read it yeah. dear select board I Jonathan Lambert hereby ask to be added to your agenda from here on out until my questions are answered <clears throat> after three months of research and back and forth several board meetings I told the town, like I said, I don't like doing this because I've already been here over and over again. I told the town can enforce their own civil ordinances without, with our town officers and in place. And that the townspeople need to contact the sheriff. Issue number one, the dog off leash, nipping and biting at chasing cars, people, civil ordinances. Issue number two, dog poop in public areas. Owner not picking it up. Just the last select board meeting I was at, you guys were about to jump right on putting poop bags down here and making everybody in the town pay for those with licensing. Enforce your ordinance. You've got an ordinance. Issue number three in the town. Dog poop on public, private, public and private property Preferentiality, because you know why it's preferentiality? That was the same property that my daughter was bid on. Health and safety officer. He's not been involved in any of this. How come? You kept saying it, Nancy. You were right. 
Constables, you guys tell me no training. But yet the other day he was just up there. Observing. He could have gone up there with Jeff. Observing. I went up on my own. I didn't ask any permission. I understand you do go up there and work up there sometimes on things too. I understand that. Which no, I just. I just Animal uh, Ordinance tried to go up there and enforce and do what he was supposed to do, and you, the town, told him he could not go back up there because of some reason. Once again, why is there a budget for all these if we can't use them? Number eight, training. We're back to training again. Number nine, look back to 2011, May 13th. Down there on the ball field, the owner of that property, and you guys told me, my wife, Maybe because she was female then. You couldn't do a damn thing. This hall is a dereliction of duty. Okay? Why is it that we have to come down here four or five times, six times actually, before I got a sheriff finally contacted? I respect all of you that you're volunteering. I volunteer too for a lot of stuff. But damn it. There's stuff we can do to prevent stuff like this happening, and we don't. History. History of a constable. Constable handled the stables, the king's horses, the military, taxes, property, warrants, and papers. Present text. Constable have constitutional civil authority and can be law enforcement if the town so chooses. Must complete training for law enforcement. If you guys can prove me different on that, please do. Tradition. Rochester has traditionally had law enforcement and civil authority and should still have civil authority no matter the training because you, the select board, have the author authorizing civil authority for these ordinances. 20 VSA, whatever it is, 3549. Ch chain of command on this, as I already said, should have been your ordinance officer coming up there, seeing that the dog was off the leash, telling her to put it on a leash, of course not following, bringing up the constable first or second, giving a fine that time, <laughs> and then third time would be with the sheriff so the dog could be removed. Because she is not willing to do what she needs to do with this animal. It's a safety issue, yes, very big safety issue. Again, health officer, where was he in all this? I've asked, I've asked, I've asked, we just said, I don't know how many times she was resigned, he wasn't even on there, now he's back on there, and then you guys just voted on today. Okay. What if their bite, what if it was a bite, who do the people in the town report the bite to? How do we find out if the dog has a rabies shot, there's only 24 hours in that period of time, you have to take a bunch of painful shots in the belly if you don't know. Yeah. Did you know that the WHO has six different stages of rabies? Six different stages. The first one, you don't have to break the skin. All you have to do is have a cut on your, on your body that the saliva gets into. Now, so we do know that the dogs have rabies shots. We do know that. I'm three months into this and I'm just being told down by you guys that that dog has rabies shots. If it was a licensing issue, I definitely would have dealt with that. She was one of the first ones to get her dog's license this year. <laughs> Fact, 4.5 million people are bit every year. Half of those are children. Okay? 28 people that I know of live up there on that piece of property. You know how many people have been bit before this issue? Five of us. Two people up there mauled. You think people aren't scared of that animal up there? Very scared of it. One child is very, very scared of it. Dog poop issue is just, it's foolish. If you're going to enforce, if you're going to try to make everybody pay for something that everybody doesn't use, it's kind of foolish. Kind of like the same thing as right now, paying for something we can't use. Very, very foolish. You can save money by not even putting it on there. Save a lot of people money. 
And one person said, oh, it's only $500. Well, that's $500 every year that you're putting on there for each one of those positions that none of them have contacted me back. So instead of spending all this extra money, why can't first constable jump right on his bicycle, go down there, and write a fine for dog poop down there to help pay for the dog bags? Pretty reasonable, huh? I mean, if you're going to put them down there and make everybody pay for it, then I, I'd like some up there at the playground up there and make everybody pay for those too. Is that out of the question? Maybe she'll actually pick up her poop and my wife won't be the one raking it up. We also have the Rochester Park and we have the park over here by the town office. Yeah. There's, there's, there's lots of areas we can't uh, yeah. control. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Look, it's time to become proactive, not reactive. Yeah. When somebody comes to you, you should be able to give answers and have an ending. It should not take three months of all this back and forth to come up with everything that I've come up with that you guys all know. We started with certified letters. Perfect. That, There's the that, first time. That was the did, first time. That did take some time, and yeah. those letters proved not to be fruitful. But we had to go through the procedure. But because you didn't do. follow it the way it should have been, because you couldn't, I'm three months into this with no conclusion. I have spoken to another resident up there that their granddaughter was bit by the same dog. Mm. So I, I'm supporting the cause as much as I can. I think we should all start looking into some training then in this town. Don't we all? Don't you think that would be suffice? We can take it up with our budget committee. The other level if of training. Because um, otherwise, what are we spending our money on for our constables if they can't help our ordinance? Hey, I, I got nothing. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> Except for a thank you, David. Right. <laughs> the, the use of the vehicle is all that is. There's, there's no, the $500 is not a budget for training. It's for vehicle use and insurance. For what? What are they doing? There is no report they're, in your in your report. They're your satisfying budget. the statutory requirement that we have, the civil, but we've opted you to You are not statutorily required to have a constable. I've already looked that up. There are many towns that have gotten rid of their constables completely. They do not have a budget for it. I'm not sure if that's right, but we have hired, we have budgeted to hire the sheriff. And that's who has the on top of the price that we're paying for our constables. Yeah. yeah. Well, I look, I'm not. I'm yeah. not saying you're getting the money, but it's going somewhere as we're budgeting for it, and it is disappearing in there because it shows that it's gone at the end of the year. Yeah. I can't use them. Not for a dog. Nobody else here can use them for a dog. Again, I've done my research. Please, yeah. once again. Yep. The fourth or fifth, no, seventh time that I've spoken to you guys. Seventh time. Let me make that straight because I've got that documented too. Yeah. Please, you have my contact information. Contact me. Give me some answers. As I said, from here on, make sure you can contact me and tell me what we want going on down here because I'm going to be to all the meetings from here on until I get these answers. Yep. Is this more of a civil suit that you can take on? Like if, if your neighbor and you get together and do a civil suit against that person? <laughs> At this point, it comes back to the town because it started in 2011 when they wouldn't do anything then either. As much as I hate to do it that way, but that's where we're going to. Because nobody in the town of Rochester has anything to go to Unless they come and fight with you guys, and then you tell them, get in contact with the sheriff. They wouldn't do nothing until you guys opened a case number. And that was the process that we enabled, and it's, it's um, yeah, I mean, we don't have that much power, you know? I mean, it's, um, this, this, but the courts do, and I understand that the final solution is, is that we've been waiting on is for the dog and the owner to actually leave. 
And that's um. And that's six months that that dog can still bite my kids yeah. or any other child up there. Yeah. I would like to make a comment. I, I don't know if anybody's been bitten. If, if nobody has reported an actual bite, right? No, this is the first time I've heard that people are have been bit. Bitten. No one's reported being bitten up there. We've been reported being harassed. harassed. I Let's told you, you can look back at your organ. I got bit in the ass by the damn thing. You don't remember that? I, I think you're the only one that's said they've been bit, as far as we know. He said he was nipped. What's that? Nipped, nipped, nipped. in the butt. Okay, yeah. well, yeah. whatever. Anyway, but. it's, um... I would like uh, to make a comment. Um, excuse me. Uh, what? <laughs> the, um, I think that... We've got your point. I would Robert, like to make a comment. Hold on, Robert. Robert. Hold on. The select board chair speaking, please. The um, we obviously are hearing loud and clear. You're upset, and rightly so. And um, we're not. You're not hearing me. You're hearing me. You're not listening. I'm not here for me anymore. I'm here for the rest of the townspeople who have nowhere to go for three months. They've got to do this hurrah that we're going through. We, as a town, as townspeople, select board people, need to come up with an action that can help other families and people. People are coming to me about stuff that's going on up there because they can't come to you guys. I'm documenting that stuff and giving it to the sheriff, yes. But the point is, what about out there on Hawk Mountain? What about up there? What about over here? What about down on a public playground? What about on a school playground when somebody's dog gets loose and goes over there and bites somebody? Who do they contact? Here you are. You're contacting us, and we're trying to do what we can do. Okay. But we can't um, just sit here and it, press a button and, and make this lady change her activities, you know? I'm not working about worrying yeah. about this lady up here anymore. That's the part like you're not okay, getting. I've heard, yeah, yeah, I, we hear you're you. You're not listening to the words now coming out yeah. of your mouth. Yeah. It's the rest of the town I'm worried about. Okay. Okay. I used to be a safety um, officer. I had lots of people to worry about. Point is, we got, we got. I, I, I know you don't think we have your point, but we've heard it, and and. And that's what you keep yeah. telling me. You're hearing it. You ain't listening to me. Yeah. Well, I'm you're just hearing, I ignore not finding and the action the that you want. Yeah. Maybe this should fall into our local hazard mitigation plan. <laughs> local hazard. That's one of the biggest hazards that we have. is the dogs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So maybe. We uh, excuse me, June. Yes. Yeah, yeah, Martha. Excuse me, June. I'm sorry, but I have to leave the meeting, and I just wanted to let you know I will call the the office tomorrow to check if there's anything else I missed. Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry, but I have to leave. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. I'd like to make Bye. a comment. Bye. Okay, Robert. Very quickly, what's your comment? And you're going to shed light on this. I will shed light. The comment that Sandy Haas, the quote unquote state representative, made regarding Quarry Hill commune, whatever the hell it is, he said it's a trailer park. Well, you know what? He doesn't know what a trailer park is. So I, I'm going right, to Robert. take, you, a, take um, a moment. Hold on. Hold on. Dude, you look like Mayorkas. Uh, 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 Robert, you know what? We're trying to deal with a pretty serious situation here, and, and or not, it's not helping to um, to have you ramble on like no, this. So no, I'm no, no, no. Stop. Would you cut him out, Kristen? No, dude. Thank you. Yes. You're not. Goodbye. You're not. Yeah, I am cutting you out. Yeah, okay, enough so for that. just for the record, he is on the computer and on his phone. Mm -hmm. He's had his computer muted. 
which is fine. When I mute his phone, he doesn't have access to get back on mm -hmm. for okay. the phone. So just so yeah. you know, that's okay. what happens when you mute a phone. So he can come back on on his right. computer, right. but his phone but anyway, mine has been dead. Or he yeah. could dial back in. Yes, just wanted you guys to know. But I did okay. not want to I under, I end this that. conversation on um, that tangent. That's that's a waste of time. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Does anybody else have any input? Any, any? Yeah, Cindy. Like yeah. Quay Hill, is it like a co-housing co co situation, and is there any governance or it's like, a, it's like a, a corporation? There's a property it? management company that that controls the property up mm -hmm. there. Yeah, that owns the property. Yeah. Have yeah. you co contacted it's them? Co-housing. It's, a, it's mm -hmm. a yeah. Nothing that they can do. It's nothing mm -hmm. they can do. Okay. Yeah. Well, I they're. Again, anyway, at this time, I'm no longer, and I stole that to you guys last time I was down here, I'm no longer in this part for me because my deal is being dealt with. What about the rest of the town members that end up having that issue? Who do they contact? How do they contact them? Where do they go? Say it happens on a Friday, you guys are closed on a Monday, how are they supposed to get in here? They got no, no way of knowing whether the dogs got the they, they, baby shots is, or not. They can get a hold of us on a weekend. We can be here. No, they, yeah. there must be something new because we could not get a hold of you guys on a weekend last time that it happened. We had to wait until a Monday when you guys were in session. Well, you just Against know. my best wishes, well, you know. I went 72 hours without a rabies shot because we did not know. How does that make you feel? It makes a father feel like a fool because he doesn't know. Hmm? Know where to find June every day. I mean, you're you're talking about back in 2011. You know, yes. you know who we are. You know how to find us on the weekend. I mean, it's it's you can go to the hardware store. Hardware when they come in and they interrupt at Hawk Mountain, and they get bit. I imagine how they'll dial. visitor at your place? They'll and dial 911, and then the authorities. And when they get to the doctors, because they're going to go to the doctors first. Like my daughter. When the authorities were They're going to get to the doctor. The doctor's going to tell them they need to get in contact with the town ordinance officer and get the rabies shot papers. They have 24 hours to do that in. I'm sure that they, they could find us if you call in a situation like that. If they call in 911, they will contact they have our, the authorities our, in town, yeah. whoever that might be. It'll be the selectman, it'll it'll be the health officer, it'll be the... And the, even if it was the fire department, we the, could have our hands on that certificate in a matter of the minutes. Fire, they'll contact yeah. somebody in town yeah. that will answer the bell on what they have to do. Well, thank you for standing up for your rights and, and fighting for them and, and, and holding us to the fire because it's, it's um, serious. So, well, I appreciate I'm that. Be at the rest of the select board meetings because yeah. I want something happening that's going to be more proactive than what we have. We need something more proactive. Okay, thank you. I move we adjourn. I'd second that, unless anyone else has something they want to talk about. No? Okay, um, thank you.